Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving this Olympian math problem. We have a 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x. And that equals 81. Before we get started, please subscribe. As always, for more videos. So now, what we're going to do is the first step is we are going to take this equation and make it so all of the non or all of the numbers without the base of 3 have a base of 3. So 9 is equal to 3 squared and 81 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now that we've done that, we're going to use an exponent property to simplify this. So if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Now let's apply that to the denominator of this equation. So if we do that, we'll have 3 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now let's use another exponent property to simplify this even further. If we have a to the power of m over a to n, it is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that means, since we have our a value is 3, we can say x squared minus 2x. Let's do that. So we got 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Let's move on to a clean sheet. So as before, we have our equation above. And since our bases are equal, we can set the exponents equal to each other. So we have x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now in order to solve this, we're going to use a quadratic equation. Now the quadratic equation is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is all over 2a. Now, in this equation, our a value is going to be 1, our b value is negative 2, and our c value is negative 4. So let's plug that in. We have x is equal to minus a negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 times, or over, 2 times 1. Now if we simplify that, we have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 16 over 2. Now let's break that down one step further. We have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now we can pull out of that 20 a 4, and when 4 squared is equal to 2, and that leaves us with 5, because 20 is 4 times 5. So that means we have, well, let's get a new sheet here real quick. So we got our equation. Again, 20 is equal to 4 times 5. And if we square both those numbers, we'll have a 2 plus or minus 4 times 5, which is equal to 2 times the square root of 5 over 2. So that's our most simplified version. Now let's go one more step further. So now we have a 2 over 2. We can cancel all those out, which leaves us with x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. That means that our final answer can either be x1 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5, or it can be 1 minus the square root of 5. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions,